once you're not sure whether they're alive or dead. Right. Uh, order. Uh, I think that's one of the most important things about the show order. is that okay. we maintain discipline and order on a ship that is in a post-apocalyptic situation. We don't really know how society is going to survive beyond this uh, catastrophe, so we have to uh, maintain our discipline and our training as best we can. So, how's the tension between your character and Eric's? How, how does how's it going to develop in this season? Well, the executive officer tries to keep the captain on an even keel and make sure that basically be that uh, that voice in his ear that helps him to make sure he's making the right decision. <coughs> you know, second thoughts are usually best. So the EXO gives the captain an opportunity to have those second thoughts and uh, to confirm that he's making the right call. So in this, the scenario you guys are working with is actually fairly realistic. Apparently. Are you guys all turning into German folks now? Are you all freaking out about the end of the world and what <laughs> not could happen and take us all down? What, it, what was interesting was when we were on the naval ship in San Diego and you would hear, you know, we'd have the extras that were actually in the Navy when we would be debriefing briefing them on what the scenario was, you, I, you didn't feel like they were batting an eye at the scenarios. And for me as an actor, that was a little bit eye-opening to know that they they are dealing in training. We train for all contingencies. And, uh, situations like this. System redundancy. Uh, if she <laughs> falls, we have someone else to come in and pick her up, vice versa. So, yeah. There's uh, super bugs out there. There's weaponized version of all different kinds of nasty things. You all wash your hands more now. There is hand sa there are hand sanitizer dispensers on board, so please uh, please make use of them. This isn't your first ship, um, technically, no. uh, in your career. I mean, how is this different than the uh, Firefly scenario or the oh, Firefly? Yeah, that one can fly. <laughs> <laughs> We've, we've had the honor of going on, on board two different guided missile destroyers. The first was the USS Halsey, and this is the the other one we're, we're shooting the series on was the Dewey. And they're amazing, amazing you know, ships, with devastating firepower. So the uh, the respect that you have for the crew, the way they handle all their different systems. The Navy's not only you're not just serving your country, you also have a job on board. And everyone has their own specific tasks and skill set that they can then take on to future work in the Navy or different uh, branches of the military back when they, they get into civilian life. So it's it's just humbling for us outsiders and be outsiders to go in there and have them show us everything. And then you talk to the captain of the XO. They know everybody's job. So that's that's a, a great burden of those guys to bear, but they're very good at it. They're very professional. Were there challenges to shooting on a moving ship? I mean, other people have talked about running into the walls or going through, <laughs> tripping on the doors. You're talking about seasickness? Yeah, or did, how oh, long did it take you to get your sea legs? Yeah. Well, the thing about being on board such a large ship is it has a lot more stability, so it isn't as bad as being on like a little fishing boat where you're bopping around. But that thing moves quite fast. I think it's a classified speed, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's fast. I have to worry about hitting my head. <laughs> you trip a lot, so you. Have to <laughs> the stairs. The stairs are more difficult than you could have, than you imagine, um, especially when you're running at high speeds um, in an action show. Like we are. Um, I was never on a ship that was moving, though. So, um, so were you? I will be. Um, there are a lot of handholds. There are a lot of places yeah. where you can grab onto. But you don't want to grab onto, you know, the, the big red button. <laughs> Things like that. Um, we did, we would be She's shooting. constantly saying, what's this button do? <laughs> we would be shooting. No, Lieutenant, teams. no. <laughs> and doors would open with, you know, it's an active ship. And so they're doing their job alongside ours. And, um, and we're all, you know, they are allowing us to come aboard. But I think the most important thing to realize about this show too and integrating into the ship itself are the relationships that have to develop because you know television show do you like the people on board and 
this crew and cast has been one of the most pleasurable experiences. It's as fun to work on this as it was Firefly. I worked on Chuck too. And everyone loves each other. Everyone's working hard in maintaining uh, discipline and bringing TNT. We know drama. Sorry. <laughs> we know drama. However, the behavior between cast members is such that you believe it's real because you have people you like and they're good and they're fun. I'm one of them. Happy with where your characters will be going throughout the next nine episodes. Oh yeah, we do some cool stuff. We're not really allowed to spill any beans. But there are monkeys, we were told. Monkeys? Yes, yeah. I think we can Crystal. talk about the monkeys. There's some uh, monkeys. Just we can't, we can't <laughs> explain exactly what happens with the monkeys. You probably know more than we do. <laughs> I was working with the monkeys. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. I, I sort of had monkey fever. <laughs> I called my mom and said, I don't have baby fever. I have monkey fever. <laughs> they were in case, though. They do throw things. <laughs> but they, it's amazing. I mean, they are these little creatures that you can see the thoughts happening. And... I think I just absentmindedly one day said, it was nice to meet you, Crystal. <laughs> she was sitting on um, her trainer's shoulder, leaned over, Aww. shook my hand, Aww. and I just, it's sort of shocking you just to see that behavior. One. It's the hangover monkey? Is yes. it that Crystal? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Lengthy resume on IMDb. <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's, uh, stra it's strangers in a strange land, it's normal people in uh, extraordinary circumstances, and you want to see how they how they survive. And also, who doesn't like watching a big train wreck? <laughs> or explosions. And I think it's or something explosions, that yeah. every person can connect to, life yeah. and death, and um, what that brings out of human beings. And as actors, you try to you know, mimic the human experience. And that's something that we all can't get away from. And these days, Eric was saying that this is his first time doing action. He was really excited about it. Obviously, it's not yours. So, how does this kind of different for Chuck? You had action scenes. Is this different for you? Have you been showing him any tricks? Uh -huh. <laughs> Are you in better shape than, yeah. than, uh, than, than Eric Dane? Thank, thank you. <laughs> Eric is our fearless leader. He's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. He is a true professional. I Which try to side? walk. I try to walk that fine line between challenging him and fierce loyalty. Obviously, we. Uh, we have to survive, number one, but we also have to have the discipline and leadership that he provides. And he hasn't, up until the point of the beginning of this movie, given me any reason to doubt that fully, while still questioning. But, but, but that's it, my role. My role, the XO's role, is to challenge the captain. Are you sure? But not in a disrespectful way, in a uh, in a supportive way. But does he have his eye on the big chair? Yes. The storyline knows Slattery was ready to move up into the CEO's chair, but <laughs> things, things take a turn for the worse, so it couldn't do it. Anyway, we have a we have a, we have, yes, we have a wonderful cast and uh, beautiful young people, and uh, they're smart and experienced, and uh, you have stage experience, a lot more stage experience than I do. Can't afford it. Um, just kidding. <laughs> 